As goes Moody Air Force Base, so goes Air Force Combat Search and Rescue. One of the most sacred things that we can say in, in Combat Search and Rescue and as a DOD as a whole is that we'll do everything in our power to try and bring everybody back. In the last couple weeks, we've gotten our ability to use chaff and flare so we can uh, defeat enemy surface-to-air missiles, both of their radar and the infrared type. And then we also have been given permission to use our GAL 2C 762 minigun, as well as the GAL 21 50 cal machine gun as well. To be given us those capabilities, it allows us to push into different theaters, open up different doors, and provides capability uh, throughout the globe. CSAR is important in today's Air Force, is important in tomorrow's Air Force, and was important in yesterday's Air Force. As long as you have planes and aircraft flying into combat, we owe it to those pilots to have someone willing to go in and get those guys if they get shot down. That's why it's important for us to keep up with emerging technologies. That's why we always have to be looking down the road to what not next year's fight looks like, but the fight 10 years from now. Where this is a new gun, it's still a gun. You point it at stuff, you pull the trigger, stuff dies. The advantages and the disadvantages of this system or any system is the training. And I think the 41st is going in the right direction. And if you're not challenging yourself every single day you're in a helicopter, you're messing up. Uh, something that I've never seen in my Air Force career, where literally a test outfit, the 88th Test Evaluation Squadron, attached to the hip to the 41st Rescue Squadron. We basically came here to help develop TTPs that did not exist for the HH-60 Whiskey in between developmental tests and operational tests. Without that, you know, they're on their own, they're trying to figure it out on their own, but if they have something to reference back to, then that's gonna set them up for the most optimal success. The sheer amount of people that are going out there and employing the weapons really increases the amount of data that we can get and help fine tune the product. This thing is, it's an impressive weapon system, but I think what's most impressive is the way the squadron is moving forward, training the guys to move. You know, I think if you train somebody enough with a slingshot, they'd be dangerous.